I'm Naisha McCauley, and you're watching AccessTV.org. Dedicated to the only serious choice, the gospel of Jesus Christ in music and the spoken word, you're watching White Source Victory Television Live. With me, your host, Pastor J. Sam McCauley, inviting you to sit back and relax for the next eight minutes as we continue our journey into the life-changing, life-giving, everlasting Word of the Most High God. My friends, it's time for the eight-minute Bible study. We're broadcasting live, of course, from the greatest city on earth, Hartford, Connecticut, New England's rising star. Okay, I like that slogan. You know, uh, they've got a new one. But as far as I'm concerned, that's the one that matters most because we're still a rising star, doesn't it? You know, what we are doesn't change because a new slogan comes along. And that, 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 that's a good thing. It's like Jesus is Lord, all right? The foundation of who Christ is doesn't change due to political winds that blow here and there or man-made legislation. The Bible says, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. So, welcome to the 8-Minute Bible Study, okay? Uh, if you miss any of the uh, previous 8-Minute Bible Studies, they're at accesstv.org channel 10. Before we get started, let me let you know that today was another very, 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 very busy day, and it would be so easy to just say, you know what, let's not do the 8-Minute Bible Study today, all right? However, if we could do everything else in this busy, busy day, then we can find time to do the eight minute Bible study. That's the whole point of it. It's only eight minutes. So I really encourage you to join me here every day with the eight minute Bible study and then share it with friends and family. That will be your part of the ministry. If it means anything to you, we don't do tithes and offerings here. We don't, we don't solicit your money and things like that. And in our 30 years of broadcasting, uh, we've always sent money back if we get money. So. You know, this is not about the money, it's about you growing in Christ Jesus, okay? So, your offering, if you will, is for you to forward this program to friends and family. Let's get started, okay? All right. <clears throat> when we were last together, we were reading out of 2 Timothy chapter 15. Let's pick it up there and we'll press our way on, all right? Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. Hmm. Okay, self-explanatory. Let's go over verse 17 and 18, the result of error. And this is very important. This is kind of what I want to get to as, as far as today is concerned. The result of error. Okay. You know, you may think you're right, but if you are wrong, no matter how right you think you are, it makes no difference. All right? It's like jumping out of an airplane believing that the parachute will work when, in essence, you packed it wrong. So you were doomed before you hit, before you, before you left the ground. All right? And you most certainly will be doomed when you hit the ground because the parachute doesn't deploy properly. All right? So error has profound, dynamic, and lasting effects. All right? Verse 17. And their word will eat as doth a canker. Of whom is Hymenaeus, Hymenaeus and uh, Philetus? Hymenaeus and Philetus, excuse me. Who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrowing the faith of some. Let's put it in context. Verse 14 down to verse 18. Of these things charged, of these things put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Verse 15, study to show thyself approved, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And, or but, shun profane and vain babblings, for they will lead unto, or will increase unto, more ungodliness, and their word will eat as doth a canker, of whom Hymenaeus and Philetus, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already, and they overthrow the faith of some, up to verse 11. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. 
If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. Of these things put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words of no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Okay? When you speak, speak words that are going to uh, accentuate and build faith in others. And that faith is built upon the solid rock foundation of Jesus Christ. Not on some fancy saying or the new politically correct, you know, we're going to enlarge our territory or we're going to uh, get some material blessing or some gain. Christ sent his son into the world not to condemn us, but that through him the world might be saved. And so salvation becomes the central reason for the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. Now the Bible tells us if there be no resurrection, we of all men are most miserable. But these two individuals in verse 17, Hermanias and Philitus, were saying to others that the resurrection had already passed. All right. Now, the error of the gospel causes the hearer to believe something that it is not. You cannot build faith in the word if the word is in error. So it is incumbent upon those that preach and teach the word to preach the word. Okay. Christ's word, not my word, not my saying, not my understanding of the word, but the word. It is interesting that in this day and age, so many have veered away from the word, preaching about the social conditions of the world, this, that, and the third, but not giving you the real force of strength that is required in order for you to defeat the conditions and things that are caused by certain social action. All those things come through faith in he who spoken out a thing becomes a thing. Now this seems foolish to the non-believer, but to those that believe, all things are possible through who? Christ Jesus that strengtheneth us. For by grace are we saved through faith, not of works, lest any man should boast. So put your faith and trust in Jesus and hang on to his word. Now, we will explore more of this tomorrow because, of course, it's only eight minutes. And so we build on each eight minutes each and every day. So you need to be back here tomorrow. I will be, no matter how busy I am. Hope it was helpful. If it was, share it with friends and family. Do your part in ministry. God bless you. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.